ago, Abilene voters approved a bond issue which would pay for 25 projects around the city, including the rehabilitation of downtown streets and adding more parking spaces. Construction has been going on for quite some time now, and it has created traffic problems. KTAB City reporter Marley Capper had an update on how things are going from the people doing the work. Cutting up the roads and laying out new cement to pave a way for more downtown parking and better streets. Director of Public Works Greg McCaffrey says there's 42 trouble spots that need to be fixed on the roads. We're about 50% complete um, as far as of the timeline. We likewise are about 50% complete as far as on the um, number of um, segments. 20 out of 42 areas have been fixed. And McCaffrey says COVID did not slow down the project. If anything, it helped. Unfortunately, having to have been closed, be it um, a shop or a restaurant, that minimized the amount of traffic in the downtown. Um, it allowed the contractor then not have to be competing with those vehicles. Allowing construction to continue with little public interference. But now as downtown is booming, more people are driving around. I'm at the intersection of North 2nd and Pine. As you can see, there's some construction workers laying down some last bits of concrete. And then over here, if you look, there's some orange cones, which is making it difficult for drivers to navigate these roads. Very hard to navigate. I was really confused. It's progress. It's what has to happen. Abilene driver Emily Day says the cones don't bother her if it means um, better roads. No, I'm just glad that Abilene is, you know, working on the streets. That's one of the things that we talk about all the time is the streets. So I'm just glad that something's getting done. McCaffrey says they're hoping to be done fixing each section by June, and the next step would be to restripe the roads to make more parking spots. In Abilene, with coverage you can count on. Marley Capper, KTAB News. Thank you, Marty. McCaffrey says that once they do put in the new parking spots, they're going to be a little bit bigger than the ones there right now.